What you're looking at is not a field or grasslands or a forest. These are the waters of South Africa's Hartbeerspoort Dam. They're blanketed in water hyacinth, an invasive species that experts say is indicative of a wider problem. Water hyacinth is the symptom of pollution. Professor of Botany Julie Kutzia is the deputy director of the Rhodes University Center for Biological Control. So a system like Hardebeersport Dam is probably one of the most polluted systems in, in South Africa, potentially Africa, in that the amount of nitrates and phosphates in the water are higher than anywhere else, and they are coming from upstream. Kutzia attributes the pollution to sewage, industrial chemicals, heavy metals and litter flowing from the cities of Johannesburg and Pretoria. Nutrients in those pollutants act as a perfect fertilizer on which the water hyacinth thrives. At Hartbeersport, they're also threatening to choke off livelihoods. In the last month, it has closed the business down. Dion Mostert owns Harty's Boat Company. As you can see, the boats are standing. They aren't going anywhere. There's no passengers. Um, it's affecting tourism in our town. It's, it's affecting tourist jobs. We are on the verge of letting 25 staff go. Mostert says he is considering using herbicides, but admits it would only be a quick fix. However, there is another way. <laughs> this is Megamalus scutellaris. The tiny insect is the natural enemy of the water hyacinth. Professor Kutzia says they are mass reared at a Rhodes University facility and released in their thousands every week. And suddenly the plant started to die and sink, something we've never seen before um, in South Africa. She says the bugs have, in previous seasons, reduced the water hyacinth infestation by 95%. Environmental Education Officer Patrick Gander rears Megamalus at the Hrutvale Blazebork Sprite Wetland Conservancy. It was once home to more than a hundred species of birds. Now he says there are just two or three, after 60% of the surface area got covered in plants. Like Kutzia, he says there's a wider issue at play. On, the, on, on one side, we're removing the water hyacinth manually. On the other side, the so rich spillages, the chemicals inside water are promoting the growth, so it's like we're going in reverse. Gander and Kutzia warn that while the insects have been fairly successful in controlling the situation, they only treat the symptoms of the much larger problem. They'd like to see measures such as tightening regulations on the release of sewage and industrial effluent into water bodies. The authorities need to do more, they say, to deal with the root cause.